So this is a grape explorer talking about today. So we are back to bring it up from the cellar to highlight a wine that I think that I wanted to uh, share with everybody uh, what we call the past, the present, and the future of the property. And we're talking today about Pavel de Luz. And Chateau Pavel de Luz is quite an interesting property. They are in the appellation of Margot. They are in the commune of Suzons. Uh, if you're driving through Suzons, there's a lot of uh, very unfamiliar properties there. But I always say those are the properties that you pay attention to because those are the values. And you know what I'm talking about is Margot. So we look on the map here and we zoom in on this very, very large pink area here. And of course, there's many, many properties here as we discussed. You have a lot of first gross. You have a lot of top level third and fourth gross. Of course, those prices are soaring and soaring. Pavel de Luz nestles under the radar. Nobody knows. Shh, keeps the prices down. Those prices are usually about 40 bucks a bottle. This is a 1989 perfect mint condition up from the cellar. Perfect wine to drink right now. But I want to share a little story with you about the owner of this property because this is the Deleuze family, which uh, they've owned this property since 1862 when it was purchased by Baron Alfred Deleuze. And the Deleuze family was quite an interesting family. But um, I had a chance to deal with, uh, with the owner, uh, Frederick Deleuze, who was the president and owner of El Divan uh, Negotiant Company. So uh, from Frederick, I would buy a, a lot of classified growth because yeah, they always had great allocations. And uh, Frederick also became the president of the Cru Bourgeois Syndicate. So he, had, he was juggling a lot of jobs. Uh, unfortunately, and I heard the tragedy of this, he passed away, you know, a good five or six years ago at the age of 55 years old. He wasn't an older guy, but Frederick was just full of life. He was uh, very, very charming, uh, very, very gentleman, you know, didn't go around telling a lot of people, but he was Baron Frederick de Luz. And, and a lot of the people in Bordeaux consider the de Luz family noble. When, when you say noble, they obviously have uh, a royalty to them. And Frederick handled himself like he was like a prince. But at the same time, um, he was always very, very kind to me. So I wanted to give a tribute out to uh, Frederick and at least uh, tell, you know, the family that we're still plugging along here with uh, Pave de Luz, one of my favorite wines, and Margot. And again, these are wines that are uh, usually great value. So if you see them in a wine store and they're like $50, $40 a bottle, snag it up. Put it in your cellar. If you do have a cellar, you can pop it and drink it. But I would say put it away a little bit. 89, what a great year for a wine like this because this wine is still, uh, still got some freshness to it. Uh, it's drinking right now. So I would say at this point, we pop, we drink, we enjoy. That's why we're bringing it up from the cellar. We're actually going to enjoy this wine for Valentine's Day. And I wanted to share that and give a happy shout out to everybody because I think that this is the perfect wine to share with your loved one and enjoy with a nice grilled steak. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But again, shout out to Pavel Deleuze, to Frederick Deleuze and say, this is the Grape Explorer. We're always talking about great, great Bordeaux.